Um, I think it was a little bit of both, um, playing harder, and I think um, our press definitely affected them a little bit because that created, you know, a little bit of transition opportunities for us to run and, you know, just, you know, have fun out there because, you know, game's a lot easier when you're having fun, you know, running up and down fast breaks and things like that, so I think that definitely helped us in the second half. I was just going to say, starting the second half, it looked like you guys were having fun, like you got hot a little bit, got rolling there a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and, and that also, and that obviously makes us want to, you know, get more opportunities like that, you know, it's good to see, you know, teammates like laughing and smiling and joking and having a good time while you're out there because that's what we play for. No problem. How different is the intensity from the Big Ten regular season to the tournament? I mean, just, just the stakes out there, just, I mean, does it feel like a different game out there? Oh, yeah, most definitely, you know, um, you win, you keep going, um, and if you lose, you go home, obviously, and we don't want to go home. You know, we got a big game tomorrow, a desperation game, we need it. Um, we, we got a lot of riding on the line, and we just we just don't want to go back to Columbus. Third shot against Michigan State, game one, I mean, they kind of handed it to you, game mm -hmm. two, I mean, you guys had... You had some things go right in it, you weren't able to pull it off. I mean, what did you really expect during game three? Um, we need to just put 40 minutes of good basketball. Like you said, uh, they handed to us the first game. You know, we, we, we're kind of chipping away. So hopefully third time's a charm and we can come up with a W. Go back in the first half of tonight's game. They came out at one point, they were 7-11 from three. I mean, mm -hmm. Coach Amada has mentioned before that seems like teams seem to just find their stroke. I mean, hand in the face, no hand in the face, whatever. They hit the threes. I mean, so what was his message at that point? Um... He just told us, you know, they're making shots. We got to obviously, you know, make shots so um, we can take the pressure off of our defense. You know, like you said, it seems like we're getting everybody's you know, best game. You look at the scouting report, one player um, doesn't take a three, and then they see us, and he takes a three, and it obviously goes in. So, um, you know, we just got to just stay on our toes, you know, stick with the game plan, and they got us a win tonight. Then you guys go on your 14-0 run, you get a couple of big three-pointers, and it seems that everybody starts to, to, to pick it up. I mean, just talking about the emotion as you guys were, were in the midst of that run. Um, you know, whenever you're going to run like that, um, everybody, you know, kind of like starts smiling, having a little fun out there, high five and things like that. And we just feed off each other at that point, you know, and then smoke, snowball effect, you know, get stops, more um, looks and transition that just opened the game up for us. But it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be a game without them making another run and they, they actually took the lead late in the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, who, who really stepped up to try and maybe, you know, calm everybody down? Because, I mean, they were, I mean lesser teams have crumbled there. Um, you know, uh, Mark definitely stepped up for us and uh, Jaquan stepped up for us and Katie stepped up for us. And um, that's what we need out of them, you know. Um, when things get tough, you know, when things are going, uh, we got so many weapons, um, it's hard to stop when we're all playing good and playing together. Okay.